I've been using this Minn Kota Deckhand DH40 for a little over a year, so it's time for me to give you my yearly review. I'm going to give you some pros and cons of this unit, I'm going to do a demonstration, and by the end of the video, hopefully all the pros and cons I've given you will help you determine whether or not this might be the next toy for your boat. So first off, I want to say I've not had any issues with this electric anchor at all. Nothing has broken, it's always worked, I haven't heard any weird noises, it's worked exactly as I expected. Now I've been out on the water for 14 hours at a time. Now I do have one battery running my trolling motor and the electric anchor and never had any issues with the battery. So energy usage on this is pretty efficient. In order to obtain the best success for this anchor, you have to have a 30 pound anchor. If you have one of these 15 pound anchors, a 20, a 25, it's not going to work correctly. It has to have a heavy anchor for it to hit the bottom and properly go all the way down and stop. Now I was a little concerned in the beginning. Let's say that you're in a lake and there's a lot of moss, seaweed, and muck. And you pull up your anchor and it's probably got 20 pounds of seaweed and crap on it. This thing pulls it up, no problem. Just pull off your seaweed and away you go. Now if you're in the front of the boat, you can easily control the anchor right here with the built-in switch. And I also have a remote installed back by the throttle. So once you get to your favorite fishing hole, all you have to do is push the down button and the anchor is going to drop all the way to the bottom of the lake or river and stop by itself. And whenever the fishing gets slow and you want to move to a new spot, just hit the up button. And away you go. Now if we look at the control area of my boat, I've placed the remote button right here. It's kind of hidden out of place. It doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, most people don't even notice it there. And it works great if you're by yourself driving the boat and you want to drop the anchor or raise it. Pair it up with the Minn Kota trolling motor. It looks great in the front of your boat. All the paint and decals match. It almost looks like the boat came out of the factory with it mounted. So the only real con I've discovered is this has to hang over off your boat quite a ways. So if you're pulling up to a dock, you can easily hit the dock with your anchor. But I have my trolling motor and the electric anchor hanging off the same side, pretty close together. So I'm always just real careful when I'm pulling up to a dock and there hasn't really been any issues. One tip I can give you, and it's more of a safety aspect, whenever I'm hauling the boat down the road, whether it's to the lake or back home, I keep the anchor inside the boat. I don't want all that weight hanging off the edge of my boat while I'm bouncing down the road. Now in conclusion, after one year of using this, I've determined I love it. If this thing broke today, I would run right out and buy another one. You can usually have it mounted in under an hour. It saves you a ton of time when you're out on the lake. Now in comparison, I do have a shallow water anchor at the back of my boat. I have a blade power pole and I hardly ever use that. Once I got this, I pretty much use this all the time. So if you're looking for that next toy to mount to your boat to make for more efficient fishing, I highly recommend the DH40. I couldn't be happier with this unit. Like I said earlier, if this thing broke today, I would run right out and buy another one. I'll put a link in the description how to buy this off Amazon show up in your doorstep in one to two days. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching.